Alright, so I'm just gonna bump the throttle, that's gonna take it out of cruise control. Oh. It really is such a cool feeling, like the best roller coaster ride that you're in charge of. Oh, look at that beaver. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. We're at 56%, so let's hope, hopefully we can make it back. I think we're ready. Just want to show you guys my modification to my helmet so I can use my Bose headset. I literally just took a die grinder to this and basically uh, cut it out, and it works pretty good. Check it out. Maybe. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna have to run my ass off. And I hopefully I don't hit the apricot trees. I know. This is the first time I've ever taken off here. Never a dull moment. Not enough wind or did the wind change? Oh, the GoPro. I'm caught in the GoPro. Stupid GoPros. <sighs> Messing everything up. Oh, <laughs> 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 a freaking GoPro. I put that tape there to let the lines yeah. like yeah. go above it, but obviously it didn't work. That's power No, no, party. no. No, he's going through the through the line. Oh. Loki, no. He's like oh having a squad. He's in the freaking cell. <laughs> I don't want him to rip it because yeah, he gets into it. his claws. I'm gonna have to put him away. The last flight we did, the GoPros all died except one. It just wasn't that great. So we're gonna redo it and uh, hopefully this takeoff goes well. There's a lot of weeds and stuff that grab the wing when it comes up. It's really crucial that that wing comes up nice and even and not one side or the other. Cause if one side comes up, I gotta kind of run and get underneath the wing. Hopefully this goes good. I'm gonna answer all you guys' questions when uh, I fly around. Yeah, hopefully I'll remember what questions they are. Let's get to it. Let's go. Lord? Yes. Okay. <gasps> I've been hacked. You must not be using NordVPN. No. What's a VPN? A VPN is a virtual private network and makes hacking close to impossible. Unless you're Tom Cruise. Yeah, no one likes to be watched or tracked, even if they have nothing to hide. That's why it's important for you to step up your privacy game. When you're browsing through a VPN, your traffic is encrypted so no one can see what you're doing online. Here are a few reasons why you need a VPN. Imagine going to a coffee shop and connecting to a free Wi-Fi named Coffee Free Wi-Fi, which looks totally normal and not out of the ordinary. However, turns out that Wi-Fi is actually being hosted by a random person trying to impersonate the free Wi-Fi access. And he steals all your data. <gasps> and that's exactly what NordVPN protects you from. It has amazing speed. NordVPN is confirmed the fastest VPN out there. You get better prices on travel, flight tickets, car hires, and hotels. Keep up with your favorite series, just change the country in order to access streaming services and providers. Access HBO, Netflix, Amazon Prime from anywhere in the world. Get your exclusive NordVPN deal now by going to NordVPN slash Jonas Marcinko. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. All customers buying the two-year plan now will actually get four bonus months for free. So when you're buying the two 24 month plan, you're actually getting 28. Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Guys, sponsors like this help us keep making video content. So by going and clicking on the link below and checking them out helps us. All right, let's get back to the video.
So amazing. Amazing. Where should we go? I'm thinking we'll check the river out. I live in a van down by the river. And then uh, maybe the hills. It's beautiful air right now. That's one thing with paragliding is the smoother the better. <laughs> when it gets really bumpy, it gets a little bit crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna set cruise control. Cruise control is set. Oh, that cruise control is awesome. Another double check just to make sure everything looks good. All right, so right now I'm burning 3.6 kilowatts and it says I'm 156 feet above the ground. This throttle is so nice. Like, to just have all that information, it's, it's beautiful. The one thing though with the cruise control is if you accidentally bump it, it'll get out of cruise control and you'll come down. So a lot of times, there's been a couple times I'll be flying and all of a sudden like I'll accidentally bump it. I'm like, oh shoot, the motor. <laughs> so make sure you're a little bit high if you do get one of these when you first start doing the cruise control. Well, let's check out this river. This is the Snake River for anybody wondering. All right, we're gonna answer some questions, respond to some of the comments on the last video. A lot of people, noticed the net was not on the right side of the tubes, which you were completely right. I just totally just overlooked it. I don't know why, that was stupid of me. What's really cool about this throttle too is uh, it gives you a time how long you've been up. So right now we've been uh, going for five minutes and we're at 89%. The thing that I think I love most about the powered paragliding is just how you can take in the scenery and you can just really get all the details in. Like when you're flying an airplane, you know, you're cruising by pretty quick, so you kind of, you just miss stuff. You just kind of get a glance and you're like, oh, that's cool. Versus like flying over someone's junkyard. Now you can be like, oh, check out that cool car. Or, you know, something like that. I think that's kind of a really cool aspect of like, and your, your view is just amazing. It's like you're just sitting in this chair way up in the sky. The one that everybody that has said is like, Dude, that thing is as loud as a two stroke. And it's not as loud as a two stroke, but it is pretty loud and I was actually anticipating it being a little bit quieter. Now, the very first flight I did, I didn't have a headset on. It actually wasn't too bad. Like the first long flight, like I took it out and I, I actually didn't film it. I just was like, I just gotta go fly this thing. And it was really not bad. Like it was maybe a little irritating, but it wasn't terrible. All the noise is coming from that prop and someone mentioned hopefully they can figure out a quieter prop because that would be huge. So maybe E-Prop, if you're watching this, do some little bit of R&D on uh, quiet props. Even if you lose a little thrust, because I'm still in chill mode and I got plenty of power. Um, anyways, yeah, that, that is a little bit of a bummer. I was kind of hoping it was going to be like a little bit quieter, but that prop does just put off quite a bit of noise. Oh, check out that tree. That's pretty cool. Friggin' just a full-on dead tree right in the middle. All right, so I'm just gonna bump the throttle. That's gonna take it out of cruise control. Oh. All right, now I'm back in. That was weird. We're gonna go we're gonna cruise around this little course. I used to come here when I had my gas motor. Yeah, I like this place. This place is cool. Look at this tree. Oh my gosh. These uh, junipers are kind of like a little race course. Are these hawks? Is that a hawk? Oh shoot. Hawks are no good. Sometimes hawks are really territorial and they'll come after you. <laughs> 
You'll see them trying to gain altitude so they can dive bomb you. I've had a hawk once dive bomb me and I came probably uh, 20 feet from hitting my wing. Like, it was the most scariest thing. Like, he was a full torpedo from, I don't know, 200 feet up, straight at me. And I'm like, holy crap, you just hear this, ah, gah. Yeah, oh, this is so cool. Well, it looks like they're not bugging me or coming after me anyway, so that's good. It really is such a cool feeling, like the best roller coaster ride that you're in charge of. It's amazing. And it's, it's actually super quiet with the headset on. It's like almost a little too quiet. It's like you're in a little zone. I don't want to hit that, hit my wingtip with that. <laughs> this is so cool. Drag your feet a little bit. I'm, a, I'm getting used to it, but at first, that throttle is so touchy. Just, I think, you know, general with electric motors, are just instant power, and the throttle is really touchy. <laughs> so you got to get used to that. Like with the gas-powered motors, it's, it's not as touchy. But I'm getting used to it. It's not... It's not like terrible, terrible, but sometimes you get excited and you like hit that thing. You're like, whoa, hey, that's a lot of power. Uh, someone asked how many steps it takes to get off. I, I don't know. You guys probably saw that from it. Once you get that wing up and you hit that power, it's it's going. Oh, check these deer out. Oh, yeah, little Bambi. Oh, we're getting a little tight in here. Let's not hit, let's not hit a tree. Get that power. Holy crap. Looks like this field has not been watered for a little while. Got some nice wheel lines. Now that I'm a, I'm a farmer, I'm checking out all the farm equipment. I would say the comfortability is actually pretty nice. This uh, seat is way nicer than my, my $99 motor, paramotor that I built. Oh, look at that beaver. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. We gotta zoom right back around and check him out. Gotta watch that. You always gotta watch your own wake with paramotoring. You'll like cruise around and then all of a sudden you'll hit hit the, the wake from your wing or your motor. See if you can see this beaver. That is so cool. Wow. That is what is so cool about this powered paragliding. All right, we're gonna set cruise control. I might have, I need to bump it up a little bit. That's the other thing I think they're gonna work on is like a way to just like, if you need to add a little bit of power with cruise control, like if you don't set it quite right. I'll check out this Hawk. That's cool. Yeah, we're slowly dying, so. Yeah, that's the problem with that cruise control. I gotta say, like, it would be nice to just, when you hit it, you, instead of completely dying, you go back up. I don't know. It's definitely, there's a lot of different options you gotta figure out. Okay, somebody asked what density altitude map. It's density altitude plus, and it's pretty awesome. What's really cool about Open PPG is if, if you want just the frame, you can basically buy just the frame. And if you want to build your own battery, they like let you do that, which is really cool, which is a big price. Like if, if you're into being able to DIY, you could save a lot of money by building your own battery. So I think that's really cool. If, I think if you get everything, it's like 7,000. It's close to that. It's just under 7,000. So yeah. It's got, it definitely go check them out. So right now, my GoPro says 22, 22 minutes, and we're at 60%. So yeah, it's pretty close to being like in, getting a half an hour uh, flight. Now, it does have voltage sag, so since I'm pulling like 4.6 kilowatts, burning 50 amps right now, if I had a more efficient wing, then I think we could get a lot more. Like at least, you know, 10, 10, 15 minutes more. It's 
go check out this farmer and then we'll head back. Another cool thing is like, now it's dead quiet. Yeah, let's go check out this farmer. Look at this corn. It's a beautiful corn, huh? Should we see if we can follow the pivot track? Uh, that pivot track is deep. Let's see how good I could be. God, it would suck to go down in that corn. <laughs> this is so cool, though. Like, you, this is a totally different form of flying. We'll go right towards that tractor, see if we head them on. Look at all this concrete stuff. Wow. That's a good freaking junkyard right there. A lot of bob wire. Give this guy a little bit of entertainment. I know when you're sitting in a tractor all day, it can get a little bit of, a little bit boring. He doesn't even see me. Alright, we'll start cruising our way back. We're at 56%, so let's hope, hopefully we can make it back. We're going pretty quick right now. That's one thing I've, they're going to work on. Look at that duck. Go, 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 go. He's like, nah, I can't. <laughs> I can't beat him. Yeah, they're going to work on um, maybe showing your ground speed, which would be so cool. Like That, that would be awesome. I've talked to him about that. So that could be like an update. That's the other cool thing with the electric stuff. You just, you just, it's an update. You might have to like get maybe a little GPS sensor or something. But knowing your ground speed would be really, really nice. Got that cruise, oh shoot. <laughs> See, that's when I just bump the cruise control and it like cuts out. It, it definitely gives you a little bit of a scare, not gonna lie. <laughs> You're like, oh. So, yeah, so it's starting to get pretty bumpy. Like, really bumpy. So let's let's head back. Some guys are saying uh, it would be cool to put this on a trike. And I think they're working on it. And oh, the cool thing about the trike is you can put, obviously, a bigger battery. So you get a lot longer flight time. Um, the hour flight time for me, or, you know, right now we've been going for... 32 minutes uh, it's pretty good honestly it's like it's enough I don't think you need more I mean maybe Let's see we're at 41 percent so we still got quite a bit of power left we'll do a little flyby then we'll we'll come back We'll gain some altitude. There's some lift. All right. I'm a little bit hot. Let's see if we can see if we can do this dead stick. It. Oh, this might be a little bit hard. I might have to get back on the throttle. Yeah! How was it? It was really good. Really? Was it bumpy today or no? It got bumpy right towards the end. That's why I landed. Did you get all of the battery? Right now, at, we're at 37 minutes flight time. And, and how I'm much at, the battery? I'm at 44%. Nice. So I think, you know, you could probably go for another 20 minutes. Yeah. Which would be close to an hour. If I had a better, more efficient wing, this is a super small wing, so yeah, I could go even more. I love the electric paramotor. It's, it is really, and it's just awesome. I don't know. Hopefully I answer some of you guys' questions. If you have more questions, submit them in the comments below, and I'll try and answer them on the next flight. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye. They have these little handheld handles right here. You just pick it up and it makes it a lot easier to walk.